Hello all, Rambling Canuck, back for another video. Today's video is another VSDC how-to. In today's video, we will learn how to add music to your timeline. And I do want to stress this. Please uh, understand that these are going to be very basic and very short for the beginning. So it's just going to be going through step-by-step step how to do something covering that topic. And then we'll slowly start adding things to it is my goal for this. So I hope you all enjoy. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so we're back in the editor. Last week, we added a picture. This week, we want to add music. So to add music, remember what we're going to do is we're going to ignore all of this. We're going to ignore all this side for now. And all we're paying attention to is the things in this axis right here. And more importantly, we're worried about this button right here that says add sound. So when you bring your mouse over it, it says add sound. Last week we dealt with add image. This week we want add sound. So we left click it once with our mouse button. You go to where you have your music saved. And then you open. And then you'll get this pop up. For now, we're not changing anything. We're just clicking OK. And then it will import the music into your timeline. Your timeline, when I refer to the timeline, it's this box that I'm circling with my mouse here. So as you can see, it's added the music. The picture is here. Music is here. So in order to get the music to play over the picture, we left click and drag down and move over. Okay, so now your music will play with your image. So if we move the ticker, and for the purpose of this video, the thing that I'm moving around right now, I will refer to as the ticker. I know there's a more technical name for it, but I call it the ticker. So I'm gonna move the ticker back to the beginning. And as you can see, music plays with the image on the screen because anything in this will be in your video. So now we have a problem. Our music is too long for our picture. So we can fix this one of two ways. One, by clicking with our left mouse button on the picture and then moving our arrow to the end of the frame so that we get that double arrow, see? Get the double arrow and then left click and hold and drag the picture out so it's the same length as the music. So I'll do that again. So what I did was I brought my mouse up, I clicked the image with my left click with my left mouse button, moved the mouse over to the end of the frame, so I got the double arrow. Then left click and hold and drag your image all the way over. So now your image will be on the screen for as long as your music. Now, you don't always want that. Sometimes you just want the music to play for that image and that image only. And then you're going to be adding things later. So to do that, what we do is we bring the ticker. The easiest way is you bring your ticker and you align it right at the end. So right in the end so it cuts off right at the end of your image of your image frame okay then you would click the music with your left button once so that it highlights it then right click so that you get this menu then you bring up your mouse to cutting and splitting click that once with your left click mouse button now, as you can see, this solid blue line, this solid blue line represents where your ticker is in the timeline. So, if you bring your mouse over top here, you will see you get the double line again. The double arrowed line. Left click, drag all the way to the end. Again, you left click when you get the double arrows and you drag it all the way to the end. And then you hit cut region and then you apply settings and now once you hit yes now 
your music and your picture are the same size, all you've done is you've cut off all the excess music. So that's going to be our video for today. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope it's been somewhat helpful. And if you have any questions, please do post them in the comments and I'll try to address them in a future video. And until next time, take her easy, folks.